No! God! What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze. And I'm Glacier, the Iceborn. And we are Reaction, Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Join the Dragon Squad and are you bored as f because of stupid ass COVID? I'm bored as f COVID. Then try out Finder Seekers. It's a great new game that you can do from home. It's like a mobile escape room. Find the clues, work as a team, and solve the mystery. Now what if escape rooms aren't your thing? Or you feel like you're too fucking stupid? I'm too fucking stupid. That's okay. You can just give it to a friend or family member. It's easy. Just click the link in our description box below, place your order, type in the promo code half off, and you instantly get 50% off your first order. It's a deal you can't miss. Finder Seekers. Flex those mental muscles. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Now, what's on the menu for today, Glacier? We're jumping right back in. It took a few seconds to take a breath, but it's Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 15, Soul Salvation. Soul Salvation. And the main thing that comes to my mind after that mind fuck that we had last episode is, is this rumbling going to happen? Yeah, that and does Levi want the rumbling to happen? Because he's got Zeke pretty much as a fucking slave. Like, he can do whatever he wants with Zeke. So is he bringing him to Aaron just to lure him out to kill Aaron? Or does he want this rumbling to happen? Or is he going to do the original idea of letting a Jaegerist turn into a Titan and eat Zeke? That, and then you have have Marley squad showing up. Yeah. And Porco they, and the squad, if they show up. Is Zeke still trying to do siding with them to do a double cross? But yeah, other than that, we still haven't gotten the conversation between Aaron and Zeke, which apparently happened when Aaron was still undercover. Yeah, I mean, we really didn't get too much. I mean, we did guess get an answer because when Armin asked Aaron, hey, we'll be manipulated. No, free on free will. Yeah, so we'll see how true that statement is. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I want to get the fuck in this because and, and, we have two episodes left and I have no idea where this is going at this point. I mean, we, we have our ideas, but this show surprises me again and again. Are you ready, Glacier? Fucking ready. Let's fucking go. Oh, flashback. There's Dinah. Hmm? Oh, he's wearing the armband? God! Wow, fuck you. Wow. I hope Aaron wrecked your ass. hope you're still alive for that. <laughs> Wow. This is like how Jews are treated during the Holocaust. You've got to change it. Damn, Grish was saying this to him too. That's crazy. You're going to save everyone. Yeah, you're going to save everyone. So he's a saw. But then he's like betrayed his father. But maybe he's thinking about it as he's older. He's probably like, damn, my dad was right. Oh, that's the one he's, he was playing oh, baseball so with. He's the beast tie. That guy, there's the glasses. Oh, he's the one I pass it down. Can I get my glasses, please? And he's that guy's the glasses. He's hearing this. Damn. Yep. He's always good at eavesdropping. Damn, I'm getting brainwashed by his grandpa. Wow. That'd be crazy if they, did, if they did a prequel of the ancient times. Yeah. We'll see what really happened. Yep. Oh, that's his sister. Yep. Not his sister, but Gresh's it's sister. It's Faye, right? Yeah, Faye. I died. Damn. It's the wet behind the ears. That's that commander, too. He has hair. Oh, you're right, yeah. The Marley. Yeah, Magnus, or Magnus, yeah. yeah. We'll be able to study more. Oh, Damn. wow. So he never spent that father-son time like throwing baseballs right. and shit like that. And he did that with the guy that was the Beast Titan. He did that with the guy that was the Beast Titan. I'm thinking at some point he pushes him towards the other. Wow. Kind of like the same shame as Reiner had. Yeah. Like trying to make his father proud and. Oh, baseball. Bro, I love how they're tying his back and we're yeah. fighting. Damn. Yeah. キミたちが目指す丸の戦士だ。トムクサバ。いや。かっこいい。サバ。の研究者だ。ほら、きっとピッチャーに向いてるぞ。You see he wanted to be the kid. He just wanted to feel like a kid. His dad's playing. Bro
plan. Damn, put him so much pressure on him. He's like, I just want to talk about throwing his baseball, man. I know. He just wants to be a kid. Damn. And parents are there. Bro, this is f and he's so good. Far behind. Just like Falco was. Yeah. Just like Reiner was. Oh no. God, they're like losing hope in Russia. Him. Oh my god. Oh no. Like his best. Damn, his dad loses faith in him. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah, right here. Look at this moment. Hey, yep, he's like, oh, I'll fill in that void for you. This is like reverse psychology. Yeah, I wonder. サバさんは何で戦士に聞いたことから始まるらしいが私はその時に起きたことを知りたいのさ憎しみや争いも下らないよ。でも、それ以上に探求する必要はない。ええ、でも、聞いたことがあるのか。聞いたことがあるのか。
決定権は子孫の保有者。Damn, so he's the key and Aaron's the lock. Fuck. I don't even find something. Oh, and here he goes eating. Oh shit. This is the moment Zeke turns. Always be watching the Zeke's. エレンの生まれ育った志願シナクの家の地下室には何か重大な情報があると。So、after the events of season one. Yeah. エレンから父親の話を今は行方不明で医者をやってたと聞き Damn, Zeke's gonna connect the dots. Like, oh fuck. なんてことだ Father was alive. That father. Like, Damn. He doesn't even look at Grisha as his father. 俺たちは被害者だ。Murray said that to him. Yeah, he's been brainwashed, man. He said that to him in season three. Someday I'll come and rescue you. He said this shit. Oh shit, here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can you believe we're finally getting this? Oh shit. 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 おやじは間違ってる。エルディア人が生まれてこなければ、国巻き込まれて死ぬことはなかった。Damn, Ah, damn, bro, I love the show. Fuck. Fast forward to right now. Oh, fuck. Damn, Lee was like, what the fuck was that? Oh, shit. Alexi. Bro. Here we go, come on, say it. God. Damn, he's fucking sad. あたしが伸びてきたみてえだなおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
The boss is like, look, you're the key and Aaron's the lock. Yep. So if you, when you guys put together, the founding time is the one that has the power to pretty much euthanize everybody. Then it's got to be somebody you trust. So yep. then it ties back into like, we finally see the conversation between Zeke and Aaron and how Aaron got the baseball. And it was crazy as fuck because... That makes sense because Aaron, remember, if you think back, Aaron never wanted his story to bear children. They didn't want her to keep... Exactly, because he knew that he was going to euthanize them. So... Yep. So that's crazy as fuck that Aaron was... I mean, obviously, Yelena set up the conversation, yep. the meeting with him, but he was on board. He's like, look, Grisha, my dad pretty much, or our father pretty much saved us to, to get to where I am now by killing the Reese family. Yep. But at the same time, he was wrong because how many more aliens have to die going out of this fucking rabbit hole? So yep. we can just euthanize them realizing that the whole Titan lineage got to die out forever. I don't think they're really doing the rumbling. I think the rumbling would probably to keep the Marlarians at bay from fighting. I think they're really just trying to interact to do, to the, do the, euthanization. the euthanization. That's the plan. It's not the fucking rumbling. That's, right. that's just a uh, decoy. Right. But here's what we're thinking. Craziest couple yeah. things. So Astoria's pregnant. We don't know anything about the baby daddy other than they fell in love in the orphanage. So, and we also know that the two clans that are immune to the memory wipey thing is Ackermans and Easterners. Yep. So if they're immune to the, the memory wiping, they're probably immune to the euthanization. And Astoria's already pregnant. And so she's already pregnant. So what if the guy she the boy she fucked is an Ackerman or an Easterner? Yeah, and what if he does they do this plan goes through. They do the euthanization and the baby's born. If it's already born Then it's gonna start and, the whole cycle again. And the Ackerman has the Ackerman where it can deny the the thought of not bearing Yeah, because it'll be an Eldian and an Ackerman. So not only can it deny the euthanization, it can still turn to a fucking Titan. Yeah, I mean, we're maybe reaching, but then yeah. that leads me into this other thing that we never got resolved. Oh, the, whole, the whole meeting with Kenny and Annie, where she was like, oh, I'm your I'm your daughter. And she was talking about like if Kenny had sex with one of the um, girls in that whorehouse that his sister yeah. worked at and died. And we were thinking, we, we like never really got that resolved. So what if Kenny fucked one of the girls that worked as like a, you know, a prostitute or whatever. And then that girl gave birth. The boy that, you know, would be Kenny's son is the one that fucked Astoria. The timeline, pregnant. it wouldn't make sense because... Kenny's a little bit older. Yeah. Levi's are a little bit older in Historia. It's the yeah. timeline with fit. Someone, yeah, he could have a kid that's the same age as Historia. Yep. So what if that whole shit ties in together? Which, based on how much everything is interconnected, wouldn't surprise me one bit. But if we're right on that, whoo, I'm gonna pat myself on the oh, yeah, fucking back. Yeah, I haven't read any of the comics or the Magna series. Yeah, that's or just whatever. pure speculation off of things that haven't been resolved yet. Yeah, that's just throwing out. That's just throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing if it sticks. But yeah, that happens on the last episode because remember we're on the final episode of the whole fucking show. Yeah, the way this episode ended it was yeah it pissed me off. Ooh. So the fact that that all ties back to present time where Levi's just taunting Zeke, like, oh, you're about to get eaten by a Titan, bro. It's, you know, you're going to find out what's what like to be digested. For? What are you complaining about? And man? I think that was his Achilles heel because every time he's always gotten the jump on Zeke. But right now he feels like he has the upper hand. He let his guard down. Didn't I guess he didn't plan out what if Zeke says fuck and pulls the pin to the uh, Thunder Spear anyway. My thing is like, why wouldn't he? Because I don't think that would kill Zeke. He can just transfer his energy. I yeah, think. he Levi has to know that he can transfer his consciousness, and even if his body gets blown in half, he can still regenerate. Because he had the bomb here on his in his side, so yeah. I would think if Levi was actually trying to kill him, kill him, he would have it here. But then he doesn't want him killed because the if the power of the beast time would just go to some random Eldian. Yeah, so I think he didn't want him. But so I hope. I, I mean, I really hope Levi's not fucking dead. I'm guessing that he, maybe he jumped out of the way and the shockwave knocked him in the air because we saw him fly through the air, but we don't know how he is. We, we went back and looked. Even in the slow form, he's flying through the air based on that. He's not flying through the air willingly, like he's jumping. And he's not like on fire like the horse was he's just Flash. hoping it was a shockwave and not the explosion because the explosion hit him and he might be fucking dead or like i don't think he'll, I don't limbs think he'll, are missing that'll be crazy they killed levi off camera i just think that he worst case scenario he's injured and the injuries are he'll bleed out and die and that'll be pissed but either way he's out of the commission at this point so who the fuck's gonna stop aaron and zeke at this point he might be out of, yeah he's out of commission because zeke's still alive he's blown somewhere you'll heal eventually as long as zeke's not dead their plan can still move on and all he's, he's not dead aaron has to find him and is gonna be. happen this i can't imagine how crazy this season the series finale is gonna be it's got i mean how do they wrap up everything because you have Peak there, Poco, yeah, we still don't Andy. have any of that resolved. You have Hanji, Flock, you have Aaron, you have so many Levi movies. somewhere over here, possibly dead. The finale's not. gotta be like an hour long. If they, I mean, if they can pull it off in 24 minutes and close those gaps without rushing it, I'll be like, bravo. Bravo, but, and then it'll probably feel like a two minute episode. Well, yeah, final thoughts, Station? Final thoughts, man, I wish it was already next Sunday, but I guess we're all gonna have to wait. I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole and watch everybody else's reaction. Dragon certified for this episode and this season so far. Yeah, this. I'm telling you, I, I knew these last three episodes were going to be like God tier status, but my mind's fucking blown still. Dragon Certified fucking hit it. And there you have it, guys. Another one in the books. And the real question is, what did you guys think in there in Dragon Spell Land? But now that we've kind of said it out loud with the whole Kenny and the whole Ackerman and Astoria bombshell, 
Is that feasible? Is there something that we're missing that would that would make that not possible? Not spoiling it, anybody that without, read the series. Yeah, without spoiling it, like what you guys know in the manga. But I mean, what do you guys think in theory wise? How's this gonna play out? Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad, and remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn. And until next time, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.